today I just wanted to share another great tool that can help you keep track of everything that's going on. So I want to show you the time map. Now, if you're familiar with Google Calendar, Google Calendar uses a time map basic idea, but it will change every week. So I always like to make a new time map for every new semester or for the summertime. Because what I like to do is block out when things are going to happen. So this is an example time map for what it would look like for just me. So um, I just block out times for thing, things that are going to happen throughout the week. So I always have to block out time for school too, because if I don't block it out, it gets filled up. <laughs> I can tell you that. So we, we block out the time here to do school in the morning. And then in the afternoon, that's when I can do things. But then in the later time, I've got I'm running kids around to different classes and things like that. So that's one way to do it. I also like to just, when I'm first creating a time map, I'll just get a blank one and just write it on a piece of paper because it keeps changing. And so then when I have a final one, I'll type it up so I can remember what we're trying to do here. The other thing you can do too is you can also do this in a spreadsheet as well and block it out like this one here. The um, the other thing is that I like to do, but I haven't done on this one, is if you insert more columns, well, I didn't do that right, but anyway, like I'll have like three or four columns in each day, and then I will color code what each kid is doing, because I still have four kids left at home, and so it gets a little tricky trying to um, make sure I can remember when everybody's online classes are and when when they have other outside classes or when I they probably should be studying. So I will make a timeline, I'm sorry, a time map with all these the different kids things in here. So this is just a great tool to help you get a big picture of what your week's going to look like and it also helps you block out the actual time that you need to have to actually homeschool because it, it's funny because it took me a while to figure this out because I would be like man we never have time to homeschool so block that time out I like to block it out in the morning and the afternoons I always like to make sure I block out free time for the kids as well because if they get too over scheduled they are going to lose their creativity and they just don't know how to entertain themselves and and it's really an important part of development for kids to have free time and to be able to play and create during that time so hopefully that's a helpful tool for you